welcome to ankaras today on a comment section uh, request we are writing a program in java to convert number to words uh the program was requested by isha pandey sorry it's been late so let's begin uh the setup which i'm using is a blue gen uh it's a program in which when you enter a number uh it is been converted to words so let's begin to save time uh because the program is about uh, roughly about 80 lines which would take much time and for you to follow through i'll explain you line by line so let's start first of all uh first line is scanner of course you know scanner is used to take input and text number format here is uh being used here for formatting the uh text output here but i have not been using them you can use that to format your output now coming to the next line the yes the class name is similar to number to words and we have two separate uh static methods here see static methods i am saying because uh, public static i am declaring them so that i can call them without creating any object this is what static means here so that i can call units directly without making an object of units like in methods you usually create an object of class then you call the uh, method of the those classes but here you can directly call the units here with the position variables same uh, like the lo the logic here goes i have added 0 to 19 here so these are 20 places here basically uh, to convert a number to a, a words first thing you need to note is you will have to divide it uh, like suppose uh you have a 5 or 6 see this number uh it's very uh it's not varying a much so till 19 uh, we do not uh, numbers are very unique but from uh, moving on we have 21 22 so 20 is being repeated and 2 is being repeated from previous so what do we do uh, we create uh, first till 19 then for every unique variable we create a separate array we can directly we can we can include here but so that we can use the position variable here so like if i want to access a uh, second position which is 2 i'll directly as 20 third position is 30 fourth position is 40 same goes here first position is 1 because array indexing starts from 0 you must remember that now coming to the convert uh, function before go more i explain convert this uh, function is not the main one the main function is this one public static void main uh, argument is getting passed here we are taking a input that is the number which we are taking from the user here and we are uh, uh, we are uh, calling the function directly here convert passing the integer uh, which we have got from the user and we are print uh, printing the output here okay now i'll explain you the what is the logic and how we are doing this here so to begin with the logic i'll just briefly take a pen here okay okay now i have pen now see uh, i have public static string convert final in 10 what the hell does this mean public you know what it means it means uh, it's public method static i told you uh, we need not create object we can pass we can call this directly see we are call, calling this directly here below uh, okay uh, we are calling this directly convert of n rather than creating an object inside class then calling the method we can directly call convert of n now a uh, string because will uh, we are returning a string output here we are and convert is the method name and final int n uh, final uh, not much of a significance but you can add those int n is the variable which we are passing again and again so what logic i am here uh, i am using here is whatever input the user gives it comes here uh, based on this uh, if condition it goes inside and the following is getting executed so let's uh, let's start with some example first okay i'll just let's uh, start with the basic example let's take example from uh, i have a input the user enters an input of 9 so uh, where does it go first the user 9 uh, user 9 is entered it is passed to convert of n convert of n uh, basically since it uh, uh, in n less than 0 no n less than 20 yes 
n less than 20 it returns returns units of n units is the array method which i have uh, integrated here i have added so units of n n n here is 9 so it will go to 0 1 2 3 we basically know it will go to the ninth position here and so it will just return 9 here and 9 will be returned to method and will have the 9 output done here so it's easy right now coming to the complicated part same it goes till 19 this is the logic being used from 0 to 19 this is the way it's been done here we basically have the input and depending uh, if it's less than 90 we are directly passing it now i have added one just for fun like what happens uh, see uh, like if you're entering a minus number i just wanted to make this program foolproof when uh, like see this program is basically derived from gigs from gigs it's not my copyright but i made some minor changes here and there uh, i'm just returning the number by converting them by adding minus sign so if it's a minus 9 it will go to minus into minus plus 9 and it will therefore go through this process now the question here is what happens when i enter n less than 100 uh, now suppose the number okay i'll just show you the output for i'll just compile this i'll show you uh, you need not worry the program would be added into the comment section a uh, link would be provided for that if i enter 8 here i'm getting the 8 as output here now if i want to uh, basically enter 9 here uh, we have the output as 9 that's good now let's go till 19 I wanted to show you uh, if I enter 19 here see 19th position it's being uh, directly extracted now uh, moving to the other one now if a number is being entered uh, which is higher uh, than 19 uh, that suppose uh, like if it's 20 30 uh, like if those positions are mentioned it goes into n less than 100 now suppose if i am entering uh, 43 that sounds right okay so in case of a 43 uh, in, uh, is 43 less than 0 no is 43 less than 20 of course not is 43 less than 100 yes 43 is less than 100 so it comes inside this function sorry uh, inside this if else can uh, bracket so now what happens see 40 tens uh, as i told you tens array is called here and the position passed here is n divided by 10 so 43 divided by 10 what happens here see when we are using a when a division here the logic uh, the in unlike your normal mathematics uh, in computer only quotient is passed so 43 divided by 10 is 4 and the remainder is not it's not 4.3 like you do in your normal mathematics here here you get 4 right got that point only the quotient is being uh, stored here as a whole number so tens of fourth position is being passed here tens of four is uh, 40 so we have 40 now what is this this basically i will explain you uh, is a ternary operator here ternary operator uh, is basically uh, suppose if ternary operator if a greater than b I, if i put and i put question mark uh, i'll first put c or d here basically you can put c or, c or d can be any statement if a is greater than b c will be executed otherwise d will be executed this is simple ternary operator like rather than going if uh, like rather than going too many if else statement you can just write this if a greater than b c will be executed or otherwise if b is uh, vice versa if it does not signify this condition then d will be executed got it okay now return here basically is storing all the output which is being passed here it is concatenating the every output here so tens n of 10 40 plus uh, so the output stored here is 40 uh, plus means nothing here and n mod 10 not equals to 0 mod 10 here basically uh, we are dividing 40 by 10 uh, 40 by 10 uh, here basically is 3 and 3 is not equals to 0 so what it means if it had been 0 then this condition would have been uh, sorry it's a it's not equals to 0 so this condition is getting executed like what the hell difference is between this and this practically you find this similar see but 
when what i am trying to it has a very much significance here the significance is space so if it's not zero that means if the number entered is uh, 43 and there is three remainder which is not equals to zero a space is being added in the returns so it would have been this now a space has been added here and the number remainder of the number is being passed to the units array so units array is here n mod 10 is 3 so 3 is being passed to units array units array gets the three position so 3 comes here and plus 3 so 3 is added here and so and it returns the output so it's getting printed here that's it that's how it's being done here now coming to 1000 i'll do the i'll explain you once again because this is just a bit different i'll just enter a number uh which is 548 okay let's enter this sorry let's enter this in comments 548 basically uh see first uh, character is always from 0 to 9 when we are going for a three digit number sorry from 1 to 9 not 0 uh we are getting here uh, five so first we divide the divided by 100 so we get a quotient which is which will be either from 1 to 9 here so it's being stored units n of 100 plus 100 we are just concatenating this now we are again checking uh, if it's uh, if it's not a whole if it's not uh, those numbers such as 500 or 600 700 800 that means we didn't, we need not uh, use this all uh, because that's the number it's done here but we are just checking if it's not a 100 position we add a space here Uh, that means for we if 548 mod 100 not equals to 0 48 is not equals to 0 so a space is being added and the rest of number is being passed to the convert method here convert function sorry uh, so convert n mod 100 n mod 100 is 48 so 48 is being passed to the method here so 48 goes here and until now we the output stored here is uh five sorry 500 uh and space 500 there is a space here also 500 space plus convert n mod of 100 n mod of 100 goes here uh which is 48 48 is uh, uh, less than 100 so 48 comes here and basically 48 is divided by 10 here 48 divided by 10 is uh, 10s of 100 so if we get 40 here 40 and of course 48 8 uh, is not equals to 0 so a space is being added and you and 8 uh, units n mod 10 n mod 10 basically uh, we are passing the eighth position to units array so we get 8 okay 548 that's it we get the output here same goes for 10000 same similar logic has been added here the function is called when it's necessary otherwise it's not done so you like in exam mostly you will be asked till 3000 or 4000 you can limit those but uh, here it's been done till uh, limitless it's been done till crore you can add those see the logic is very similar now i'll just show the output here i'll just compile it i'll show the various outputs here now let's go for 1 2 3 4 see first it goes to 1000 1000 is being printed space then 234 uh, then a uh, two second is being chosen 200 then we get a remainder 34 is being passed to second of the uh, position from there we get 30 uh, 3 mod 34 mod 10 plus 4 see this is a simple way which you can do number two words it doesn't get any simpler than this if you want a more simpler method you would have to complicate it with more via functions but this is the most uh, via using a function uh, by recalling the function again and again and in returns all the value is stored until it's being passed to when the nothing is executed it's being passed to the main method which prints it i hope i have been able to make you understand this i'll be making a few uh, videos again like some videos are uh, like many of them uh, in comment section have informed me those videos are not much clear and they do not understand eclipse so i will be making some of those video recreating some of those videos again and i hope you will share this video with your friends and uh, 
you can of course put your request in comment section and i will look into this video and of course i'll resolve the issue you can pass me your questions i'll try to solve them and send it to you because i because by engagement only i'll be able to grow and so would you so thanks a lot